Well, it's uh, every game's a new game, and uh, obviously Texas will be, you know, very desperate, and we have to, you know, come and, and play a hard game, and uh, it's not going to be easy. But uh, one period at a time, like we've done all series. Texas has been one of the top scoring teams in the league. What have you guys done to hold them to three goals in two games? We've just, uh, you know, we've just played good, good, sound hockey in both ends of the rink. Uh, Lates has been good. Um, our discipline has been good. We haven't been on the penalty kill all that much. And, um, you know, we're just trying to play a, a fast game and a uh, puck possession game and um, just have to try and continue that. You guys have had a balanced attack like you've had a lot of this season. Just how does that uh, continue to, to work for you in the playoffs? Well, it's great. Uh, we're able to roll four lines right now, um, you know, especially if it's a game where there's not a lot of penalties, you can get everybody involved and go four lines and rotate three sets of D. And, you know, you're going to need everyone contributing this time of year, and you just can't rely on, uh, you know, four or five forwards. What were your expectations going down to Texas for the first two on the road, and did you think you were going to nab the, the first two? Uh, you know what? We didn't really have an expectation of coming home with this amount of wins or uh, this amount of points, what have you. It was just go down, and uh, we've never we didn't even talk about it. We're just sort of in that zone where we're uh, addressing our, our team game and how we want to play on the ice through some video reinforcement and through some small meetings and uh, and just prepare like any other game. Uh, Evan had mentioned that maybe that first victory in the first game maybe helped calm some guys down for the second one. Did you see that, that maybe they're a little more confident in the second game? Uh, maybe. I mean, um, you know, I didn't really see any nerves in the first game. Uh, I'm sure guys might have had some jitters. First playoff game for, for a lot of our players, and uh, I thought we handled it real well. I thought our older guys uh, controlled the room, and you can hear them talking, you know, through the walls and through the doors, and, uh, you know, Labrie, Bass, Leighton. Um, guys that have been there, they, they, you know, definitely provide a calming effect for our guys. Would you expect Texas to make a lot of adjustments tomorrow? Well, I think, uh, you know, I guess desperate's the, 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 the thing that comes to mind when you're, when you're down in a series and you're on the brink of elimination, you're going to, you, you throw everything at the team you're playing against and you got nothing to lose and uh, you play as hard as you can and uh, I'm sure that's what they'll do tomorrow night against us. Knowing they're going to be playing like that, you guys have three chances potentially to close it out. How do you tell your team to sort of match that desperation and intensity when they're in a very different spot? Yeah, I mean, it's just a mindset. It's just a mindset going in. You have to wipe out what we've done here and approach it uh, like we're 0 0 in the series. It's hard to do. And you see it in the NHL. Uh, Detroit, Tampa going back and forth. You know, every, no teams won two games in a row in that series. Um, and momentum swings during the course of, of the games uh, have a big effect on things as well. And I think we just have to get off to a good start uh, and just continue to try and play exactly uh, how we played in Texas.